Good evening, everyone. I am Jared. I am Terry. I am Scotty. I think that's everybody covered. I am Tim. How are you? So, yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy tonight. It's just like a chocolate butterfly cake mix, one that you just everything in um i'm well me and tracy are both deviating a little bit on the decorating i have got some dr Oka chocolate hearts rather than cutting yeah so hi tracy how are you uh oh pardon me excuse me uh chris is sort of otherwise engaged at the moment i'm just going to put the link in for tracy and as i always say that link is for tracy only if you try and come in unless you um yeah tracy's got the same the chuck the doctor they do white and milk chocolate arts so man's still in the fridge at the moment um i says to chris i says being as that's the last thing that we're going to be pouring on them um may as well leave them in there so yeah so that link is for tracy's benefit only um yeah and it's one one of these that you can make with your kids or your grandkids or you know easy peasy i know it's sort of not valentine's till next week and i know i don't normally bake on a monday but yeah i'm just going to be doing a live stream tomorrow it says device is not connected tracy ah oh, there we are oh there we are yeah yeah we're, we're connected now it might be a little bit um slow i'm not quite sure oh I don't know why. So That's normally when it says that when it says device is not connected, I it's like the camera's not camera. plugged in properly or oh, let me just check because I just Oh Mr. Terry's watching tonight. Yeah. So Mr. Terry, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's just chuck all your ingredients into the bowl, mix it up, and then yeah, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. You know what I mean? You, you can make them with kids. Um, you, you know what I mean? It's 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 basically a chocolate butterfly cake, but obviously you're adapting it to uh, uh, yeah, a Valentine's cupcake. But yeah, whereas you know, tell you to slice top off and cut a little love art out of it. We're not doing that because we've already got like chocolate arts. So, yeah. And and like the buttercream, you just put jam in with the butter and then you colour it what however deep pink, red, whatever you want. You know what I mean? He has no excuse. <laughs> well, I can all us watch it back and the recipe's always in the description, Terry. So, yeah, no excuses. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's one of these that anybody, well, I say anybody, but, yeah, everybody and anybody can make it. It's that easy. So, Chris has had to order me some more scales because mine weren't working properly. So, um, yeah, I've had to wing it sort of thing. <laughs> but he has ordered me a new uh, uh, there's a new set coming tomorrow so yeah but I did have an old set but it looked like batteries had gone on that and it were one of them um, you know that lem them flat round ones oh yeah yeah a bit a bit like a 10 pence piece size thing mm -hmm. so that were a no go so I ended up sort of converting everything to cups and whatever so yeah that's what i've done mine with tonight cup yeah well let me know when you're ready tracy I'm ready, must yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah 
So we'll, 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 we'll make a start anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's hi Steve, how are you? Yeah, we're just we're hey, just starting. So it's basically all your cake ingredients. You just chuck them in, mix them up, whack them in your <laughs> cases, and voila, you know. Jobs are bugging. Are you using your electric? Yeah, or? yeah. I've got I've got two of them plugged in anyway. You know, for buttercream as well. So we're going to start off. That's 150 grams of caster sugar. And into this as well, 150 grams of butter. You need to find me. Hi, Jamal. <coughs> <coughs> And 25 grams of cocoa powder. It does say the darker the better, but I've only got one uh, lot of baking uh, cocoa powder, and that's it. I've got that Dr. Oakle from last time, so. Yeah, well, I, 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 I buy Asda's own make. Hi, you know, bro. How are you? So, yeah. Take heed, you know, bro. It's just a case of chucking everything in and Bob's your uncle. So yeah, you've got no excuse to make not to make Sarah or anything. This is 125 grams of half raising flour. Yeah, it's one of these. You just chuck everything in. Two large eggs. Maybe. Teaspoon of vanilla. And a <laughs> teaspoon of baking powder. Where's the baking powder? Get that in. This. So yeah, so this is ready to mix now. Can't even find my things from last week. I'm just gonna have to look for them or I'm have to just Oh you mean you've eaten this? Yeah, yeah. Well the bill being washed up and put away, but we've got less storage now, so I've got oh. to where they are. I think I've got everything in apart from flour. Yeah, I've I've got everything in. Uh we're just thinking in the end.
Oh, I can't just... I'm just start stuck in front of the lower of the way. So yeah, very quick, easy, everything in your bowl and uh, that's it, jobs are good in. Are you getting nervous now, Ramjad, or excited, or Bowworth? Does it not belong there? It does say in the recipe that this only, only makes 10 as well. But I've got to... I hope you've doubled it up. No, I haven't doubled it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's... Uh, you want me to do, do it a little bit more, Jess, so... I'll just put my thing on. How do you do that now? Where is it? How do you do that? Oh, oh bit about was thought you might be bowed. <laughs> Chris says, I hope you've doubled up. I went, I am. <laughs> I'm just making 12. Well, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see anyway. Same as I say, I've, I've, I've put 12 uh, cases. Yeah, I have, yes. So whether or not it makes 12 is a, you know, a no, Have you put your flour in? Hey? Did you put your flour in, love? You pour all everything in at once at the beginning. Hi, Tommy. Oh, how are you? When I didn't hear. Never mind, I've got it there. I'll, yeah, it it's, it, I'll just it's fold just, it in. Yeah, it's just um, took everything in, Tracy. You know. So yeah, I've got me uh, my silicon pan, and I've just put these as muffin cases. They're a bit deeper than normal uh, um, cupcake yeah, muffin cases. I had these in, so I'm going to use these ones tonight. They're just pink with white circles. Yeah, same as I say, I've, I've uh, got these. The, well, like I'd already got them, but these as muffin. Uh, I've got some of the chocolate ones, but not enough. So that's why I went with pink. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to use my uh, mm. ice cream. Good thing got a box of chocolate needed it today after this morning's. Yeah, I I I, I sort of I saw your post and I thought, well, I'm not gonna intrude and you know ask what's going on, you know. So uh, to to do with little and I suppose uh, Terry. But it can it can be uh, what, what can be a scary time. So, 
see, I'm, I'm, I've got four more left, and I'm wondering if I'm going to get <coughs> 12 out of them. I might just be able to scrape 12. Yeah. But yeah, I thought I'll I'll put twelve cases in because sometimes the recipe it says ten, and you can get more, and then another recipe you might say 10 and get less if you know what i mean not always the case so yeah i've, I've just about scraped um about scraped 12 out of it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna um See, this is that easy, Tracy. That yeah. if you, if Chris wanted to surprise me, could even make me some for me. Well, he could, couldn't he, love? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, try what? new scales out tomorrow. Uh, make make these. Away, it's it's, it's, it's just away, chucking morning, everything. Yeah. Then yeah, can do it in the, bed. See if it'll do it for the drizzle. Have a drizzle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Terry knows uh, gender of a baby. Ooh. But yeah, it, it is, it, it, you know, things like that, it, it is very scary. She had pains in her tummy. So she went to hospital, but it wasn't planned. But now she knows gender of a baby. We found out what Ailey's having now. Oh. She's having a girl. Ooh, that'd be nice. She's having a girl and she's 20 weeks pregnant. Oh. So that's very a big surprise because she didn't expect to be that far. Oh. And then when she went for a emergency scan because she had had none at all the other day, they said to her, because your presenters at the back, we can tell you what you're having there and then. Oh. So that's what she's... So that's why we know... Oh, Terry's the same. She's having a little girl. Oh, congratulations, Terry. But this, you see, the thing is, we said all along we weren't going to find out. And then at 20 weeks scan, this says, do you want to know what you're having? And Chris says, yeah. <laughs> you know, we didn't take much persuading when, when she said, do you want to know what you're having? Because I thought we weren't going to, we weren't going to, um, no. So, yeah. She said you have been a Callum. <laughs> oh, dear. But this is the thing. We went out to the car and Chris were dead excited when they told him we were having a boy. So, first person he rung was his dad and he says, Dad, we're having a boy. He says, what's up with your car? She produce, girls. I thought, oh, you know. <laughs> Oh well, sure. I'm going to produce a girl just because you want, you know. At hey ho, not to worry. So that that's about it, really. Um. So yeah, uh, you know, I'm 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 glad everything worked out for you, Terry, and you're a bit more sort of relaxed and know that you know everything's good sort of thing so uh you know that you know it, it, it if you're at ease then it's not so stressful on little and is it if you know what i mean you don't want to be stressing out and uh because the consent it can't uh, yeah yeah pregnant but that, that's what I mean. You know, you, you if you're more at ease, then your baby's... Hi, Crypto, how are you? Crypto! Hey, Crypto! Well, yeah, we've done cupcakes already, Crypto. It was one of these where you just chuck everything in a bowl, whip it up, and Bob's your uncle. Mum was right. Oh. My ice cream scoop were a bit smaller than yours, Jeanette, because I had some left over, but I've just 
topping them up. Oh. Mine can't be proper buffing cases. Mine's a little, it, 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 I, didn't, I didn't think my ice cream scoop brought. I've got like three different sizes to see. Yeah, this cream. is the only one I've got. It's not like yours. It's, it's shaped as an ice cream half when you get it. Yeah, out. yeah, but it's not well, a one one a thing on to it to release out itself. Yeah. See, oh, I, I, I like them because with me having arthritis in my hands, it's easy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it is. I used to have one of them a while ago, but I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, I've got 12 as well. Probably Johnny tidied it away. So, yeah, when you're ready, <laughs> Mr. P, it's 190 degrees centigrade. 170 for a fan assisted oven, gas mark five or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah, all it were crypto, it were flour, butter, sugar, cocoa powder, oh! baking powder, and vanilla extract. That's it. Just chuck everything in, whip it, whisk it up, and there you go. <laughs> so when you when you come back, baby, you'll have to bring them. <coughs> bring what? Bring them arts in. Oh, ready? No. Oh, cut him. So they've got to be in. It says cook for between fifteen and twenty minutes. But hang on. I'll I'll do fifteen. I think. And then see what they're like after 15 minutes if if they're not quite cooked right. Hey, hi, Scars. How are you? How do you, Scars, lad? How you do, Scars? I'm just going to take these off while we're. Uh, so yeah, so this is what we're talking about. These is what me and Tracy's using, and these chocolate arts. Now I, I had these in fridge, and I, I used them. Um, yeah, I've got them, Jeanette. Yeah, I used them on something else. Yeah, and I didn't realise, but you get sixty in them. Sixty in them, yeah. Yeah. And I think they look like. How do we get them out of them molds then? I think you just press them out, Tracy. All right. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen these ones before, that's all. Um, they unlock, they are milk chocolate ones. And they white chocolate ones. Now I've got like one here that's got like six, six chocolate. And I don't, I, I reckon I dropped one of them out. And this, yeah, because I, I, I think I made a cake or something. And I, uh, I used them for that. But I think one of the white ones fell out and dropped off. I'm going to get some of them little love arts. I am, I am, I am. Hiya. 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 So, yeah, tomorrow evening we're probably going to have a few tears because Amjad's going over to Pakistan for his brother's wedding. So, tomorrow night will be his last one. Oh, there must wow. be a lot of light over there, then. So, yeah, so, the, um, you know, I thought, well, rather than go to trouble, cutting arts out after the um I've got cooking, that headphone colouring, yeah. Jeanette. Eh? I got that red food colouring. Well, funny, funny you should say that, Tracy, because I've got um, pink. Oh, so, yeah. Are you doing yeah, your pink? Are you doing your cream pink then? Um, to be honest with you, I will run. I have got pink. You got to do the same. 
Um, I were a bit undecided because I have got red, I've got plenty of red look. Yeah. And I've got so, pink. but I just thought um, pink might look a bit better. The super strength pink I've got in the box I opened. Well, that, that, you've got and that. And didn't you get that one? Same as me. Oh yeah, I've got that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can we use that one? That hot pink. See, I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm organised, Trace. I've got all mine in yeah, there. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Do you know? I thought you, yeah, I thought you'd bought, bought that one. Yeah. So, are you doing yours pink then? Yeah, we'll use that one. Yeah, I'll do all mine pink. I'll go with pink. Yeah. Look at, look at me. How organised I am. I've got all mine in a, <laughs> in a sandwich container. Hi, yeah, Brad. I'm I, 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 I didn't really need not really apart from chocolate hearts. <laughs> But um, I bought some jam today and I came home and I had a jar at back at cupboard. <laughs> What's that? I say, I bought some jam today. Oh. But when I got yeah. home, I had um, a jar at Chris, Chris bought some other day because um, I said I needed some jam and he says, oh, I just found some jam on toast, so we started it. And then he yeah. comes to the day and he says, you know when I says I, 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 I had to come buy some jam? He says, I found some in cupboard. I did as well, did you yeah. know? And yeah. I says to him, I says, well, it's it's very rare that I've not got chocolate spread, jam, and stuff like that. I'll turn this fan off now. <laughs> Terry says, living up to the surname, as will be said earlier, because I'm the second name's uh, P-A-Y-N-E. <clears throat> Ah, I was born ready. <laughs> but you see, the thing is, Brad, we don't usually bake on a Monday. But one, Sheffield United don't tell it tomorrow. And two, it's Sam Jad's last night. So we switched it round a bit. I'll just be doing an ordinary live stream tomorrow night. Anyway. Hey? Oh, well, for a couple of weeks, I think it says, is it 20th or 21st you get back, Pan Dad? So, yeah. Um, <coughs> so we sw switched it around a bit because I didn't want Pan Dad to miss the baking. And if I'd, you know, uh, if yeah. if I'd have done it Wednesday, I'd have missed it. You see, so we've done a little bit of a switch round, and tomorrow's terrific Tuesday, which will just be my live stream. What I should have been doing tonight, yeah. And Chris and C Callum will be upstairs watch it match anyway. Twentieth, yeah, I thought it were. You know what I'm like, I'm judge. You know what, what I, I've been to bed since then, but yeah, we thought for easiest um, to use them and the Doctor Ochre chocolate arts and the sixty in a packet. And I messaged Tracy and I, oh, the terrific Tuesday sounds. I've got a a, a a a thing for every, you know, Super Saturday. Thursday, Thursday, well, I forgot where it is now. Anyway, so uh, okie dokie, uh, Steve. Oh, yeah, we are to die, I'm Jad. So, yeah, I, I think I bought them. I made like a Victoria sponge and I decorated it with them right top. And I think that's where that, that, that comes in. And uh, I said to Chris, I said, I've got some chocolate arts in the fridge. And uh, um, rather than... Uh, the cakes you made for boys? When it was Callum's I, birthday? I don't think so. Like that. No, I can't, can't remember. <clears throat> That's all ready for. Oh, come on, bugger. Get in. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
Has the change to its schedule as well? It's all ready for that. Right. I'm going live Saturday and it's going to be a big reveal. I, I don't mean I'm revealing myself, but I am revealing myself. <laughs> Not in a rude way. Oh. Even Tracy don't know this. I've, I've got a mobile hairdresser coming on Saturday. Oh, but you couldn't keep it a secret, could you? I'm not revealing what I'm having well, done. I'm just saying I'm having... Yeah, I want an address. Look at all this. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Steve. And basically yeah, what I'll do um, is I'll, I'll, is I'll it... just have my avatar in till quite a few people I'm come in and then I'll reveal myself. Yeah. But, yeah, you'll have to wait and see. On... Yeah. I'm going bald, I'm shaving it all off. I won't need a freaking hairdresser for that. We'll be watching my own colour on myself. Well, I'm getting my hair done as well, but not Saturday. I'm going to a wedding Saturday. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm having it coloured. I'm having it coloured. Yeah. I'm going to get mine coloured. <laughs> Steve says I needed a hairdresser, then saw Brad's face and it all fell out. Oh dear, that's not Chris's excuse. That's there, my my eyes fell out. We've been married for twenty years. Mine's gone great size, so it needs. Mine, to mine's be terrible. I mean, if I were to turn around and lift my hair up, it's all grey at back, and it's grey here at sides, and a bit here at front. So yeah, it got to a point where I thought, sod it, I'm gonna find a mobile hairdresser. Hi, Tony. How are you? Hi, Tony. So, yeah, it got to a point where I'm fed up on it. I can't denote with it. I'm going to ask a hairdresser to come in, colour it me and whatever. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, we'll see. I ain't decided yet, Joel. <coughs> yeah. I haven't decided. I'm still going to be brown. Well, I don't, want a I don't want a ponytail no more. I'm going to take oh. the cap off and my hair's out. It just all... I've got no fringe, no nothing. Yeah, it goes, goes a bit, it goes a bit wayward. Well, this is why I always wear a headband, Tracy, because that bit on top, yeah. I'll, honestly, when I wake up in the morning, Chris thinks he's lying next to Hazel Gummidge. <laughs> Mine's yeah. that bad in the morning. I'd go to bed with ponytailing, otherwise my hair would be out. Well, <laughs> I do. I, I go to bed That's like this with, with my ponytail in. Mm -hmm. But it's that this, and, and what makes it worse as well is when I've got me obviously CPAP machine. So, yeah, do you go to bed with your hair out then, or do you leave it in your bubble? I, I leave it in, leave it in my ponytail just as, as it is, like now. Yeah, have you got your computer sorted yet, Tony? So I've got I've got my piping bag and everything ready for me. Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, for the uh, we'll, we'll finish the cigarette and then I'll, I'll uh, we'll crack on with buttercream because these has only got like three minutes. Oh no, then buns have come over. Cupcakes. Hey, I thought I could smell some. Do you know when buns come over? Cupcakes. Oh yeah. I uh, I Johnny. Mine have come over cupcakes. <laughs> Your Johnny says, Good evening. I've just done a fart. A rhino would be proud of it. Oh. Sounded like a brass band. Oh dear. So yeah, while well while they still uh will will crack on with uh Uh, Brad says it feels like he's looking at you through a bus window. <laughs> we see she's only got the one camera. I've got the two cameras set up. Uh, no, I've Brad. got it here, but it's just I have it on that little shelf because I bake over this. But I've yeah, got it so, here. You so can basically, see. so 
She's got it on a shelf that when you know when we're baking, you can you can see down on it. There is that better. <laughs> so she'll be moving it in a minute because we're going to go on to start um start the uh, buttercream because these has only got like a minute and a half. I should have just so yeah that i partner start with you so yeah if you were wondering the, i've got like two cameras set up i'm using my camera on my laptop plus i've got an overhead camera oh. so yeah we'll, we'll we'll make a start on 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 buttercream so you need 75 grams of butter, which don't seem a lot really, but hey ho. But I think it's for the fact that we're using jam as well. <laughs> he said, take the notice. Uh, so into this, oh crap, that's been all my balls falling up oh oh he's got his trailer sorted out into this you want two tablespoons of red jam now this is strawberry jam it can be raspberry or whatever color you want but because obviously this is like valentine's so that is two tablespoons of yeah i'm using strawberry anyway yeah, and I always use seedless, so yeah. but it does say if you like using. There you go. Oh, oh. Tony will be uh, 52 in a few weeks. Yay. So, yeah, that's uh, two tablespoons of jam and 75 grams of butter. Now, we're going to mix that first. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it, Tommy? And it's like, eggs is like rocking horse shit to get. When that that's when Anta comes back. Ooh. Just, yeah, I would say they're done. I've seen which ones are mine anyway. How about them? Oh. Yeah, come back in a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Are you putting timer on or no? Yeah. Um, Mine's not done. Mine's have all come up. Yeah. Um, I'd say, would you say about four or five minutes? Right, so right, I've just pressed top and it's uh, uh huh, yeah. but yeah, it's uh, Johnny says it's supermarket, not willing to pay the egg farmers quite fair price. But this is it, Johnny, and then uh, you know, we're we having to pay the price, sort of. So, yeah, so into this, we're going to put the, well, some of the um, icing sugar, not all of it. I'm going to stir mine in. So, yeah. 
and as Trace is doing, I'm just going to stir, because obviously, you, as you can see, there's a bit of a, a dust cloud forming already. But I have got one of my little whisks. Can you grab me one and all, Johnny? He says I'm going to grab Tracy a big tray of eggs when I go to pass the meat market. Can you get me one? Oh. They haven't had any eggs in our Asda for a couple of weeks now. None at all. Well, them ones that we get, Jeanette, we get 30 and the £5.50 and the right no. large eggs. And you get them on a tray. As you can see it's like a light pink colour and that's purely down to the jam see we ain't got no like that round here solely having to rely on supermarkets having them in Oh, I've got better tyres. Can't be bad. See, this is only problem when you're using the uh, icing sugar. It's like a dust cloud. When when Amjad says he's got a his phone's full of my recipes, they're not actually my recipes. There's some that I've found on the uh, So yeah, technically they're not my recipes, but um I get what he's saying. So, yeah, I mean, it's like tonight, uh, we should be uh, cutting the tops off of the cakes and um, making heart shapes, but 
Um, I'd say they were done, baby. So, yeah, so we... Uh, <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, you know, technically they're not my recipes, but the some that I found uh uh <laughs> Joel says we should become excellent at bait. This this recipe, Joel, and anybody basically can make it there you go um it's just chuck everything in and basically uh yeah mix it up from in bun cases and and yeah that that's uh <laughs> so I had to, I had to look back, and Scar says it, it, it makes me want to make uh, cupcakes. I have got some, <coughs> some other decorations. Once the, uh, you know, the buttercream's on, that is like sugar shimmer, and it's like a pink <coughs> coloured sugar. But I didn't have a lot of that. So, as well, I've got, they are, once camera focuses, rose, gold, hundreds and thousands. So, yeah. So, because I didn't have a lot of this uh, shimmer sugar, I thought I'll, you know, put a bit of both on. So, um, biscuit. I'm just going to move these because... Um, to this, me and Tracy have both got the same colour, and that is hot pink. So we're going to put a little tiny bit of it. You don't need a lot with this because it is like really strong. Um, really strong. Uh, so you only need like a little bit and it's hard to hardly get into this without, um, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is I've, I've got end of me. Yeah. That's the only thing I, I've got that will, cause it is like a, it's like a paste. So you don't really need a lot of it. And that is hot pink. So yeah, um, let's get out of white. Don't we? Jeanette's baking live stream recipes. Share it on the group. Mm. So yeah, I mean that that that's as you can see that's it on tea towel because I've just wiped the end of me. Um, it is strong stuff. So I'm just going to mix this in uh, with my spatula. Can you do me a favour, baby? Uh, hey, can you get me a spot of milk? Because this is like... Like cement, it's that... Uh, it's like yeah. And uh, a tiny bit of milk will loosen it up. See, a lot of people at that thing that the buttercream is too runny. Man's like... 
Yeah, I think you could fling this at wall and it bounce off. So yeah, Chris is just going to put a spot of milk in for me, just to yeah. loosen it up a little bit. Tony, uh, you only need like a tiny spot. That, yeah, that'll do for now. Just leave it there. What? My buns have come out. What do you mean they haven't come out? Instead of them rising, as you all watch your buns look like, mine's all come over at the top, all bits into the bottom of my cooker and sunk down to the cases. And they don't even look like to carry on with them. You know what I mean? Well, they mine. Yeah, well, mine's got nowhere near like that. I don't know if, have, if it was a big, being small cupcake, you know, paper things you could use, bits in. Well, it, it, you did everything the same as me. I can't understand it. I can't understand it neither. I'm a bit embarrassed with them buns. <laughs> well, don't be embarrassed, Tracy. They're, they're not even bundled. You know, like how yours have come up to ends of your yeah. things. Mine have come over and then the middle of it has sunk right down to the bottom. So you've got no bun to put your buttercream on. Uh. So I don't know what's happened there. But it's yeah, so I'm, I, like I mean, you've done exactly the same as me, except I have, yeah. I've used muffin cases. And I've just used these ones, but I don't know if they're muffin cases or bun cases. But this is what I use, these ones. Yeah, they look pretty deep. And I didn't fill them right up to the top neither, because I put a spoonful in each one. And then I had a little bit of mix left in bowl. So I just each give each one a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, see you later, I'm Jad. Yeah, um, well, I'll, I'll hang about if you want to make some more, Tracy. Uh, I, I mean, I don't mind hanging about. I might do you I mean, because when all said and done, they don't take long. It's just chuck everything in. Did you put it on gas mark five, 390 degrees, 170? It was between um, just before 200. So it might have been 180 or something like that. I missed numbers. I'll just turn it When I put it back on, I'll just turn it down a little bit. Or I'll just watch you and then I'll just carry on after it. Sure, make some. Well, same as I say, Tracy, I don't mind. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Brad says, don't forget me, Rock. Yeah. It's it's entirely up to you, Tracy. I don't mind waiting because these has got to cool down. I'm just gonna put a tad more milk in there because it's still a bit you know I mean it's not as if they're gonna take a, a, an age to uh you know uh you just chuck everything in, in you know, in to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh... I mean, I don't, I don't mind, you know, sort of chatting with everybody. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Amjad. You see, my, um, buttercream... It was it was it was that thick, Tracy. If I threw it yeah. at wall, it would bounce back at me. So all I've done is pour a without no without no colouring. Is we as thick as that then? Mine was thicker than that. It 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 went. I don't think it would have been pipeable. Put it this way. So all I've done is added a a, a spot of milk. I mean. That's it now, look. Oh yeah. It's a lot it's a lot better now than it were. I think that's about right. Just put uh can you see that guys? Let the camera focus a little bit. And I think that's a lovely colour that is. And that's just a bit of that hot pink um 
Ah, oh, bless you. You'll, you, you, you'll have plenty of adventures while you're there, I'm sure, Amjad. Hell yeah. Don't worry about us. Don't think about us because we'll still be here when you get back. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, you can always join me, Brad. I welcome anybody. If you want to do some baking, do some baking. You know why not steer you wrong? So, what I'm going to do is just take these out of here, put them on my cooling rack, right? because when they're in the pan, tin, whatever you're using, they do tend to still cook a bit. Oh, definitely, uh, Crypto. I've said we're going to miss him, but don't miss us too much sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, about time I've... Uh, <coughs> yeah, right. I've taught Tracy everything she knows, Brad. So. Yeah. You know, this this, this two rolls here, Brad. So I'm just, uh, just letting them cool down a minute. Um. Two roles here, master, apprentice. <laughs> know your place, Brad. <laughs> see, see you later, Amjad. All you need, Brad, is encouragement and confidence. That's two things you need. Wage scales that actually wait. But this is the thing. Basically, Steve and Brad are both saying, "I can't do, I can't do this, I can't do that." If you put your mind to it, uh, Steve and Brad, you can. I have never. I have never been to college took a degree took a you know baking course whatever you want uh, whatever you want to call it it's from life experience you know what i mean i grew up my mum baking so so yeah don't you know this is the thing people say oh i can't pay it you can if you put your mind to it i mean it's like tonight or, so long as your ingredients is weighed out. <laughs> what, Master Baker? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Terry. I know how your mind works. But, but this is the thing, Brad, and this is exactly why I do it. I... My aim is to show people, um, yeah, you can do it. You just need the confidence to do it. If you weigh the ingredients out correctly, if you've got your oven on uh, the correct temperature, anybody could do it. I mean, these is the most simplest thing. It's basically just a, um, a chocolate butterfly cake mixture but obviously we're you're adapting it to make valentines so uh so yeah you know when i if i i mean it's like when tracy first started baking with me she wouldn't say a word 
Oh, all you could see were what you're seeing now. She wouldn't say a word, right? Now we can't shut her up. <laughs> Same as Chris says, now we can't shut her up. You know what I mean? She's come on leaps and bounds since we've been, been baking together. And to me, that's, you know, that that's, you know, it's gave her the confidence to do it. I mean, yeah, as, as, as Tracy will tell you, you know, I've had my uh, disappointments where they've not turned out. I mean, I made some uh, cookies not so long back and it, you know, it was just like a puddle. But Tracy's turned out all right. Now, we've done like sort of, here's one I made earlier and I did them again next day and come out fine. So it's just, you know, it's just one of them things. I mean, you're not telling me Mary Berry and Tad I'd miss up or whatever, you know what I mean? Because it's all a load of BS, you know what I mean? Everybody at some point <coughs> has, you know, a no shit moment, sort of. But yeah, this is why I do the baking lives. It's to show you, you know, the, the you know, in the comments and everything that dead easy you know what i mean yeah exactly brad exactly the you know they're not disappointment the the lessons but but yeah i mean somebody says to me other night why don't you go on peak off i says look I don't, how can I put it? When you're on Bake Off, um, you put under pressure. You've got to do this, this in a certain amount of time. You've got to do that in a certain amount of time. I don't like being put under pressure. I like to sort of take my time, blah, blah, blah. Exactly, Scotty. Uh, are you sure about that, partner? <laughs> hey, oh, I tell you something. Have, have you heard news about Man City? Uh oh. You know the phrase "up shit creek without a paddle" comes to mind. But and Chris is. Chris has stood there and he's going. I'm on about Man City. And there's even talk that it could be demoted. Can you imagine oh, them yeah. playing it Championship or League One? I don't think Kevin De Bruyne would want to play with Colchester United, do you? Well, no, but <laughs> it could happen. I, think I, don't, all, I don't think it will, like, but... They'd all be gone if they did. Hey, I'm, yes, please. I'm going to tell you something now, Brad. And it's to do with baking, but it's not baking. Anyway, somebody had asked me, could I make, like, you know, crunchy mixture? Crunchy, uh, oh, I forgot what it's called now. Anyway, so you put it on stove and it's got to be boiling, boiling. But then you put baking soda, bicarb of soda in it, and that what makes the crunchy. Now, silly fart me, I did the bit, but guess what? I put it in a plastic bowl, and I picked it up, and it just went whoosh straight down me. Talk about burns. And I said to Chris, anything, when I eat it up or anything, now nah, it goes in a glass dish. I tell you, I'm going to make you not laugh now, Brad. It's quick as Chris has ever got my trousers off. He had to, yeah, I'm stood in there screaming and he just went, I, I took my top off and everything. I'm, I'm not kidding you, Brad. I still bait scars now. Burnt my leg really, really bad. 
but yeah that it, it yeah and, and, and i'm sort of just going with it you know yeah lesson learned you know what i mean i not do that again in a hurry <coughs> but yeah i mean yeah it, it's it it's something that yeah what what were i thinking putting boiling hot um stuff in a plastic bowl yeah it just melted bottom yeah i picked it up and went all down me Oh, Christ. Yeah. But yeah. Honestly, Steve, you've never yeah, in 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 his you know, in his thing, it were it, it were there, it were there. And yeah, he just sort of because it were all down me. I sort of tended to top off while he sort of yeah, bought me. It's all right, I'm just feeling if these are uh, cool enough now, I think. The good thing about these is they aren't domed. Normally, they sort of dome, but these aren't, so that's good. I'll just carry on while you're doing whatever you're doing, Tracy. Okay, love, I'm just trying to get my cooker back on. So, yeah, so this is a... Anyway, this is like a little light when you've got a piping bag and a pint pot for your buttercream. So, well, I can't get it to come back on yet. I'll just do that first. Cool down. Oh. I did consider. I did consider using that, you know, that uh, duo one that his dad bought me for Christmas. Oh yeah. But I thought, nah, it's too much hassle. Just use the one. Johnny says if it's too hot it might not come back on be careful yeah that's why I'm just not I'm just doing the mix bun mixture again and I'm letting it cool down a minute or two before I can get it to come back on because it is hot I've burnt myself twice on the thing oh dear I'm all right though you just smile yeah. on, it on your fingers Johnny it's says just stop and calm down a bit that's what I was going to say Tracy don't Get stress yourself out and end up burning yourself. I can keep it going this end, from this end. Yeah, just don't just don't stress yourself out, Tracy, and end up No, you can have them. Partner says it looks like strawberry angel delight. <laughs> well, what it is, partners, to the um to the buttercream mixture. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Hey, we could have might have been able to put a bit of that in that pink angel delight. Um. I've used it to dip in and to be colouring, so yeah, it's sort of dirty. <laughs> I, I can't fit it. No, there's some more down here. So let's uh... no more. Oh, crumbs. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, just uh, just be careful with swearing, Brad. You know what I mean? It's uh... yeah. I mean, we have used it on, on uh, a recipe before. Forget what it were now, what we used it on. So, yeah, so this is... Uh, I'm hoping that, oh yeah. Well, it's somewhat similar to what the states have, uh, like Cool Whip. Somewhat similar, let's just say. For all it is, at the end of the day, is milk and angel delight. Unfortunately, Scouse, oh shit, see what I mean? I only said shit. <laughs> I just caught one and it nearly fell off the table. Uh, you're right, Brad. You're right. I was, but holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, this is, I mean, this is, you know, it's a live stream, you know, these things happen. Um, Tracy had a bit of a, a bit of a mishap, her buns didn't turn out, so she's had to start from scratch again. I think I'm only just going to have enough uh, buttercream. Oh, A bit more on that, being as I knocked off on it. Off with my finger. Waste not, want not, as they say. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <coughs> I don't quite know where Park Nest. She did everything what I did. I will show you the buns. <laughs> if you can come out right next we time round. These, these, these are muffin cases. Mm -hmm. Now, they are yeah, cupcakes, sure. but I, I always say you know um you never know and ah that's why i've mu you used actual moving cases now this is the sugar shimmer i'm going to put a little bit of that on uh 
Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. I do try my best. <laughs> oh, is that, that soon come around, Tracy? What? You, the, the wedding. Oh, yeah, three weeks ago went on end night, and this Saturday it's wedding, yeah. <laughs> She's getting married at 11 o'clock. Oh. It's a morning thing. We see, I put I put some of them uh, 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 rose gold uh, pills because I didn't know if I'd have enough of this shimmer sugar. I've got some um, pink um, sprinkles and chocolate ones. Anyway, let's get this back in here. Second time around, here we go. Putting loads in. Try not to fill them up as much. Uh, and that's what I said. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, I'm going to put much in this time. His, go, his, his brother, his brother is getting married in Pakistan, Tony. And so it's flying out on Wednesday. So, yeah, his brother is going to be getting married. So, yeah, it's, it, it'll be his last live stream tomorrow because he's... Uh, um, his last live stream and then you know he'll be there for two weeks so i'm wondering if i ought to do six white chocolate and six milk chocolate arts mm -hmm. Yeah, you can uh, still get Angel Delight. There's most supermarket stock it, Tony, I think. So, yeah, I'm going six milk chocolate arts and six white chocolate arts. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's one of his brothers is getting wed. Oh, oh I'm done. No, Tony wanted to know where Ramjad's going. He says he's going to Pakistan, it's his brother's wedding. So, yeah, I'm just going to put these away. And uh, have a quick wipe down and then I'll I'll show. Balls get everywhere. Well, they, they're actually hundreds and thousands, but they rock like rose gold, hundreds and thousands. But, hey, how they still get everywhere. So I'll just try and lift these up and show you them a bit closer. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? Thank you, Tracy. Well, out first time, right? So yeah, they, they, they're the uh, you can't see the white ones as good as what you can the milk ones. That's a good idea, Terry. You've just I've got I've got tons left over. I don't know whether I've got enough to put two on. Probably. We 
think I'll put two on, like two two arts together, beating as one. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, that that's that's the thing, Brad. You can make them with kids. You can make them, you know. Um, Uh, hey, oh, Joel, don't you think these will be gone by next week? Yeah, they'll be gone way before then. So, just a little heads up next week, we're actually making Valentine's Jammy Dodges. Actual jammy dodges, but you know, art shaped. What are you gonna do? Hey, so yeah, so I've, I've had it. Yeah, that, uh, that's it, partner. That's why I put two arts on each. I thought, hmm, looks a bit lost on it, so. So I've, I've doubled up and I've, I've put um, I've put two on each. So yeah, I mean, is there a um, they can be doing we're going in fridge now. Yeah. I'll just show you that I've put another art on each one. So ooh, that one's sliding. So yeah, so Chris can put these in to. Yeah, but yeah, but because I've got because I've got the uh, the chocolate arts, um, yeah, thought well, why not two two? It look it looks really nice. It's all right, I'm just going to take a quick picture. There you go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly dropping them now. If them cakes were here, there'd be no chocolate arts on them. They'd be artless. Biscuits follow me because there's cakes about to go flying. Just took, just took a picture of them. I don't know whether you can see them or not. I just thought it might be. A... Yeah, yeah, I can see, Jeanette. Just so you can get a better, better look of them. Hi, AZ. So yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, Ace has been sending me pictures and all. Oh. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so just sent me a picture. Yeah. I'm going to have a crack at it uh, sometime this week, Casey. Made rice pudding, look, Tracy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Fancy that, rice pudding. So, yeah. And, and, oh, yeah. Cool, cool. and, and, That's this cool. bit Crypto's favourite, he even put some chocolate buttons in it, look. I, I never thought to put any chocolate buttons in and thought, oh, that's a good idea, that is. Chocolate 
Yeah, it's not light for me. I'm not staying lit. I can't help that. But yeah, here. Uh, so it's so sort of. Yes, but when I like it, like that, hold it in. Don't mute the mic. Mute oh, the mic. Yeah. It's on? Yes, but when you let go, it goes out the flame. It's all right. Uh, Johnny, if you can hear me, I've, I've muted it for you. So, yeah, I mean sort of that's a new concept on me you know how we run about um rice pudding other night um yeah sent me them last night because he says i made rice pudding but i would never have thought of pouring chocolate buttons in rice pudding i mean we were talking other night weren't we and we said something like you know jam um uh I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you what Christmas is. It's either lemon meringue or lemon drizzle. You know, without a dart. Calm down for your fucking oh. So, yeah. But it, I don't like any dessert. Well, when I say any, I don't actually like any. Um, You know, I like profiteroles and things like that and you know what it were i was sort of looking through um like recipes online and i came across rice pudding and i mentioned it i says it's summer but oh cheesecake oh yeah i've done i i, I like uh cheesecake but it's such a you know wrong with it but Having said that, I found a recipe for um, rice pudding and it's got to be in the oven two and a half hours. So, and it's made with double cream, evaporated milk. Um, I thought, oh, I bet that's lovely and creamy. But obviously, you've got to pour it, chuck all your rice and your cream and your evaporated milk and everything, bung it in the oven and dot some dot your butter around it, and obviously your nutmeg and everything. But then, sort of so long in in oven, you've got to um, stir it. Yeah, but Chris, Brad, is anything to do with lemon. Lemon Swiss roll, lemon meringue, you know, anything with Drizzle. lemons in. Hey? Drizzle. Yeah. Lemon cheesecake as well. Anything with lemons in. Oh, yeah, that's another one I like. I like apple crumble, apple pie. Scottish is apple crumble. Oh, yeah, apple crumble. Guess what we had yesterday? It's all right, Tracy. I, I, I muted you. Yeah, it's all right, love. I'm just waiting for that cooker just to cool down a little bit more. And then we can light it. Because while it's still a bit warm, yeah. but like, it's light. When you let go, it's just cranking back out. Yeah. A few more minutes, I think. I've got window open just for it to go down. But you see, sort of on the baking uh, lives as well as the vlogs, Brad, done everything lemon. You know, like we did lemon and blueberry. Yeah, they turned uh, out good all last week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we've done yeah. cupcakes where you caught middle because we've got a special cupcake corer to, mm -hmm. you know, cut. Uh, Cut the middle out of your cupcakes, fill with lemon curd, put your thing back in, and then you. So, yeah, we're actually making 
well, we're adapting a jammy dodger recipe next week. You know, obviously, I've got the new cookie cutters, you know, the art shape jammy dodgers next week. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that is actually on Valentine's Day. <laughs> After that, I ain't thought that far ahead. <laughs> But yeah, this is the thing, Tracy. When Cal when Callum said to me, he says, "What are you making this week?" I says, "Easy Valentine's cupcakes." So he says, "What cupcakes again?" He says, "You made them last week." I says, "No, dear." I says, "They were muffins last week." I says, <laughs> "These are cupcakes." I says, "I don't think you'll turn your nose up at them. We'll put it that way." Well, what I'm going to do, Tracy, if you don't mind, I'm going to put Link in again and I'll throw yeah, panel yeah, over. Yeah, you'll do that, love, yeah. That's uh, if anybody wants to come on panel. Yeah. And I always do this sort of when we've done baking, but obviously, you know, Tracy's having a bit of an issue, so we'll sort of... Don't matter, love, you you go ahead. It's the same the same as Johnny says, it's not worth getting stressed out about Tracy. Don't get stressed out about it. Of course, you'll only end up burning your centre summer, you know, if, if you're getting stressed out. So not worth it. Uh, um, but yeah. I think because I use muffin cases, that's sort of why mine's turned out all right. You know, you've probably put a bit too much mixture in, in your in your cases. Yeah, because it must it, it did come over, browned it, came over, and then also have it come over and dripping down sides of your tin. Yeah. Sunk the middle. Yeah. Bit. Yeah, because so the, the mixture had come out your, out, out your cases, what mm -hmm. were left had just sunk, yeah. Yeah, what well, yeah, it sunk. But hopefully that lot, I've got a lot in. I just put a, spoon, a, t a tablespoon in. Yeah, well, that's why I said, yeah, so don't well. overfill them, and then you shouldn't have a problem. You know, all the more, you know, you'll have, more, you'll have more cupcakes. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I've got some more mixture left, but I won't do that tonight. I can always do, put them in oven it more. Yeah, uh, yeah. No worries. Not see you. It's not very often we have sort of a bit of a, well, I call them mishaps, but, yeah. It's not very often we have that, but they do happen. And that's, you know, that's baking life for you. These things do happen. But, uh, yeah, I only put mine in for 15 minutes. And, yeah, I, I, I always go on the side of caution because I don't like putting them on for 20 just in case they burn. Mm -hmm. But if you put them on for 15 and they're not cut, you can still put them back in the oven for a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's why I always like to be on the side of caution, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, pardon me. I'm doing it, Tim. Hey up. He's munching on his biscuits. <laughs> he's, no, he's taking them biscuits. These are some. Oh. <laughs> he absolutely loves them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bakers. Because our Callum says, well, why does he love them so much? And you, uh, Chris says, well, it's like a biscuit, but they've got, like, meat inside them. Love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely loves them. But it says... They contain omega-3 to help them keep fit, vitamin, vitamin E to help support natural defences, minerals including calcium to help keep bones strong, and they're not made with no artificial flavours. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It says 100% complete main meal for all dogs. Yeah, he, he has them as a snack. He does. Yeah, <laughs> he will, won't he? My, my my big dog but, but this is the thing you know you know when chris has got uh tucker on his knee 
he tends to eat them then and he'll take them out of his bowl and he goes over and says to say, oh look what I'm eating dad so <laughs> no they're just for dogs uh, Brad now when we adopted him, they said he were a very fussy eater. And I'm going to swear, even though we, we told you off, Brad. Hi, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Chris says, fussy eater, my arse, he'll eat out. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll only eat Tarringtons. Bought him about three or four bags of them. And he wouldn't even entertain it in his meat. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So much for being I partner. So I much for being a fussy eater. Yes, Scotty, on the chat. Hello. So now oh. my my things is in fridge to let the uh, uh, buttercream icing set. But yeah, it, they one thing. I mean, he's never been interested. He's never been interested in chewy sticks or oat like that. You know, a lot of people give him, I don't know, is it pig's ears or stuff like that now? In, yeah. in them. Give, yeah, yeah, we used to give my old dog those. One time we decided to give them for him for um, Christmas, wrap them up, and he sniffed them out from under the tree. <laughs> 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 so that didn't very, work very, out. Very acute. Two noses Have on you seen them yeah. big, um, not bones, Jeanette? What's looks what's like tall of the ground? My dog, my ass, I've seen used to have them. The treats for them, but they're like them piggy ears, but they're in a Oh, yeah, he's he not entertained out like that, Tracy. But the ears, um, it absolutely loves them. They, they basically only I mean he has a lot of treats like sticks and like meaty sticks and yeah. things like that, but it's got to be sort of meat orientated, if you know what I mean, like succulent sausages and things like that. It, 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 yeah, they write up yeah. his alley. But like pig's ears or them chewy uh, that's another word warning. Never gear dog I choose. Never. Not very good, not very uh, with arsenic or something. Yeah, they, 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 I don't know what's in them, but yeah, they're very dangerous to dogs. And people sort of think, well, you know, I choose the, you know, mm. but there's something in the makeup of them that's not, you know, um, you know, not the dog stupid. chocolate. Yeah, no, never be a dog chocolate either. Only doggy yeah. chocolate. They do do dog. My yeah. dog won't touch. But yeah, I don't like it. biscuit saying it's yeah. all it's it's always got to be meat orientated, and these has got sort of like meat in the middle of them. So it's very sort of like meat orientated. All his chews yeah. and treats and you know chicken meaty sticks and yeah, beef got meaty got sticks our dog, and, uh, what are they? Uh, rabbit ears before. Ugh. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, after Scott, quite, a, mm. quite a, 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 a an array of, a, of treats in their own met, and they, you know, pretty yeah. reasonably priced. Mm. I mean, he, he gets through no end. You know, we has to have a treat when he, you know, pretends to go outside and do his business. You know, <laughs> unless they <I> pretend. <laughs> Basically, his sort of train of thought is, well, if I go through motions like I'm going out and I stay outside for a bit and come back in, then I know I'll get a treat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's sort yeah. of not backwards at coming forwards. And uh, he, he went out one night and Chris kept an eye on him. And because we've got one of these motion sensor lights outside. Yeah. And Chris were watching him and he sort of went to, because you see, we've got like a patio and then we've got like some steps that go up to the garden. And Chris were watching him and he went to the bottom of the steps. 
stood there for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, turns around and comes back in. Oh, yeah, he didn't realise that Chris were watching him. <laughs> and he come back in and he, he, saw, he just sits, like, plonks himself down right in front of you, looks up at you and say, right, I've been out, I want my treats now. So Chris says, well, I was watching you, Crafty Sod. He says, and it don't work like that. He says, you don't do your business. He says, you don't get no treats. And he goes, head down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, see you later, Steve. But... Fair enough. Yeah, makes sense, Crypto. <laughs> she was quite... Um, the okay, okay. <laughs> see you later, Steve. See you later, Steve. Bye, Steve. Oh... Uh... Oh, well, she was a bit of a live wire. <laughs> I was going to say she were yeah, quite yeah. inebriated, though, weren't she, Crypto? But yeah, I mean, it you know, it were a laugh, but don't get me wrong, I can see it from a mum's point of view. She, you know, she don't want yeah. it out there and everybody's seeing her drunk, whatever. Yeah, but it's yeah, totally understandable, sense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it was a good night, though. It were, it were, it were a good laugh. It were a good night, and it were, a, yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully she and just had him by there. Me, crypto, and Brizzy did turn up. He had something that happened, uh, so he couldn't make it to the stream. He was gutted about it, but we were there in private up until eight o'clock in the morning. Wow, we're we in land then. We all crashed and then we had the live stream and then into private all the way through the night, through the Sunday to about one o'clock ish this morning. I had four hours sleep. Hmm. I mean, I don't sleep all that well, but it, it, it. yeah, um, you know. My main thing is, man's a lot of broken sleep. I fall asleep, yeah. probably an hour later, I'm awake. Oh, yeah. Just... I got it loo, get back in bed, then it takes me ages to get back to sleep, and then an hour later, I'm going up again, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the rest it, was a bit broken, and last night was quite broken, to be fair. It's not It's not good for I'm you, you know, all asleep, this yeah. broke, like, broken sleep. No. But... And it don't tell. I don't help, sleep good in the winter anyway. You know, it it, it don't tell that you've got like a, a snoring warthog, humming chimpanzee, somebody <laughs> auditioning for you know river dance. <laughs> you know, to name what a few. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But hey ho. Not this time round, no. You went. You decided at the end, the final part. I've had enough to drink. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Um, Brad says I'm lucky. I sleep like a log. That's Chris's problem. He sleeps like a log, but I don't. I can. I, I can hear a nap fart in me. You know what I mean? Any, in Rotherham. Yeah, in Rotherham. Yeah. Quite or Doncaster. What that says, you sleep like a log. I can hear a nap fart, and I says, and partner says in Rotherham or Doncaster. I said, yeah, quite literally. <laughs> Hi, Edward. How are you? Hello, Edward. Hey, Edward. I put it in this way, crypto. At one point, um, as Brizzy said, he was pretty sure you were speaking in Swahili or something. <laughs> 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 Well, that's one thing drink will do for you. Yeah, you learn a lot yeah, of different it was languages. Funny. But, it was funny. Uh, I, I tell you, I tell you, I, I've even sort of. No, I haven't done that into. since, Edward. <laughs> we did make I've that even joke, looked though. into, and this is, a, and it's proven by scientists. Um, tart cherry juice is good for insomnia. Yeah. But it's got to be like proper cherry juice. And it's got melatonin or something, which is something to do with your brain. Serotonin. Well, I don't know. It's a Think. word. 
Anyway, uh, it's got these sort of two compounds in that help you sleep. You see a lot of cherries. Not eagle eye cherry. It says the research shows that tart cherry juice increases sleep time and sleep efficiency for people with insomnia. Oh, yeah. This may be because of the <clears throat> it in juice increases the bio availability of trithepan or whatever it is and increases your body's <laughs> production. I don't think you have that problem. And of melatonin. Oh, is that what? So it is melatonin. I, I it corrected. Were. My apologies. Are you all right? You're all right. I'm no expert. It says in sleep studies, improvements were seen from drinking the equivalent of two eight ounce servings. Hi, hmm. Richard. That's, I don't think that's your Hi, problem. Yeah, it's, it's your bladder that wakes you up. Not you always, sleep. though. Not always. <laughs> Don't sleep from now <laughs> I look at it this way, partners. If I wake up, I may as well go to the toilet while I'm there. <laughs> well, yeah, there's um, logic there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's sort of a logic behind that. If I go for a pee now, I can get back in bed and hopefully I can sleep for two hours without it waking me up wanting to go to the bathroom. Well, I usually yeah, go before, they, I, sort of, before yeah. I go to bed, last thing that, I go to bed, I'm a You know what I mean? Well, I'm awake now. <laughs> well, you know, I'm awake now, so I may as well go to the bathroom while I'm here. That was more You know, save me, save me another drinking like, about an hour's time. Break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, no, I'm safe from my python before I go to bed. I do. Very minute before I go to bed. Yeah. Oh, yes, Joël. Mon chéri. Should I have said that? But it says sour cherry juice. If it's sour, yeah. Can you imagine me drinking that one? Down the neck. <laughs> 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 you have to chug it. Drink in one go. It'd be like I'll a shot. I'll have while I'm there. <laughs> Bottoms up. What is that? Pinky's out. It says it's only about <laughs> 120 calories a cup. It's rich in nutrients yeah. like potassium, iron and magnesium. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's... That someone does these really well, weird. It's another basic mechanics yeah. of the French language. So yeah, that melatonin. It says it's an important hormone that helps to induce sleep within our bodies. Can I have about a gallon on it, please? Yeah. <laughs> well, the problem with drinking about you a gallon you on drip it. Fed. You have, you have, have it on a drip. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, be rushing to the toilet every five <laughs> minutes. Be like a racehorse. <laughs> Oh, it's got anti-inflammatory properties as well. Gets oh. better, doesn't it? Learning stuff. And yeah. also, Joel, um, it's you know, all nouns have a gender. It's supposed it's supposed to boost mood as well. Uh -huh. uh, so every, every noun has a gender in the French language. So, so there you go, Brad. You've learned something to say to so you. Every what, inanimate you, what, object has a specific gender. Oh. But anyway, same as I say, that 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 it's got a lot of benefits. Put it that way. It's just crap tasting sour cherry juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you add a bit of flavour to it to make it taste like something else? More like real cherries, like yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, mm. it, it, in that respect, you may you may as well get a load of cherries and squeeze them yourself. Well, yeah. 
but I'm you know that, yeah. i suppose you know if you buy buying... like, like making wine wouldn't it you know yeah press. yeah i'll get chris in bucket with his feet <laughs> 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 Treasury grapes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, Brad, if you say it to your missus, it sounds sexy in any accent. You know what I mean? I mean, my accent isn't exactly, um, let's put it this way, you know. But... You know, if your wife's used to your accent, then it, it, you know, the fact that it's coming out your mouth and you're saying it to her, it don't matter what I, you know, you don't have to put a. Pop well, no, no, voice Brad, on is her from, Brad is from the West Midlands. I don't recall writing that down. Apparently, I've got a war film to watch. <laughs> I don't um, remember. Uh, <laughs> it must have been recommended at some point. You want to drink which it? Which film? Does it say which one? Beneath 60. Sorry, I missed that. I didn't catch Beneath, that. Beneath Hill 60, it's called. Oh, I'm not, I've never heard of that yeah. one. You, I'm you have to Google that it. One. <laughs> Beneath Hill 60 or something, it's a war film. Beneath what? What's it called again? Which one? Beneath, Beneath Hill 60. What? Um, gonna... Say it oh, again. It's Australian, so Brizzy would have recommended that. Oh, one. Yeah. Oh, right. It's Australian. What is it? It's called Beneath Hill Sixty. The film Beneath Hill Sixty. It's Australian. Oh, if it's like a if it if it's a typical Australian film, it'll be weird. Yeah, Chris says it's sat most it Australian rings, films are weird. It rings a bell because he's, he's he's into his war films and yeah. You know now that's a war film. I've seen him. Have you heard of I'm that just one? Reading the plot on uh, Wikipedia, it as seen in flashbacks that occur throughout the film, all of with. Oliver Wood, Woodward is a Australian miner supplying copper to the war effort. Fury, Chris says, is a good one. Uh, uh, not Scotty. Have you seen Fury? Chris says that one. I've heard of it. I don't think I've actually watched it. Yeah. Well, I says I heard of that one beneath Hill 60, and it says <clears throat> it rings a bell, but. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I have seen I'll the tell you what, of two of the best Fury. war films of all time. Saving Private Ryan. Private Ryan, yeah. Metal, yeah. And yeah. Full Metal is. Jacket. Yeah, yeah. both both favourite Christians they are. Yeah, I do like Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> the, the Full Metal Jacket, the, the realism. With the Richard says instructor. I'll try it out on Polish cleaner. <laughs> yeah, the drill instructor was actually a real-life drill instructor, so... He, he didn't but, have yeah, to act yeah. for that. It was it was yeah. actually brought in as a consultant, but Stanley Kubrick decided to cast him as a drill sergeant. Thanks for the reason. I'll tell you what, Chris has been watching. Uh, the, is it called The Last of Us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chris says uh, that's... He's going to reach one. around. <laughs> Yeah, Hanks or Ridge is another one I quite like. Yeah, Brad really says like American Sniper. He's seen that one. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. seen that one. That is, a, that is a good film. Yeah, Chris has seen that one as well. Yeah. Wasn't it one of his Chris, mates that killed him? The guy, it, um, Chris, says it, 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 Chris says just said it's a true story, that American yeah, Sniper. Yeah, it is. Um, what's, what's the guy's name? Hey. Clint Eastwood directed American Sniper. Mm. He's ninety-two. It's it 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 said on. Oh, Clint, you, yeah. Ninety-two. Well, punk. <laughs> I like yeah. right turn, Clyde. <laughs> right turn, Clyde. I mean, I know, I know this is what. I know this is football related, but Man City's right up she <laughs> Yeah. Apparently they've been they've been investigating them for years. She wakes me up every Sunday morning with a dice. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that sucks. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, dear. Oh, Chris Kyle was was the guy that 
you know, the, the, you know, the subject of an American sniper. Well, that, it, the real life. Yeah. 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 Another one I quite like is the film yeah. They Shall Not Grow Old. They Shall it Not Grow actual, Old. It was released in 2018 and it's actually got recolored footage from the First World War. Yeah, well, same as I say, Chris likes his war movies, but he also likes yeah. zombie type things as well. What's that? What's that other one that uh, didn't they stop it? Um, Walking Dead. Yeah, Walking Dead. Yeah, but it's it's not my kind of thing, you know. We watches whatever he wants to watch, and yeah, yeah it's not my kind of thing, you know. Um, hi, Richard. Sorry if I didn't see you earlier on, it's not, but yeah, I mean, I'm not, not so much into <coughs> films, but I like sort of like the paranormal, and you know, I know, I know a lot of these paranormal programs as for entertainment purposes, yeah, you know what I mean, N namely. Namely, the late Derek Akara. He was a he was a oh, poor. yeah, big, he were biggest fake going, but yeah, well. Yeah, that Chris has been watching that Brad The Last of Us. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean this 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 one this one that I I was watching last night and it's help my house is haunted. Now there's sort of this there's, there's a man, a woman, and then another man. One is like a technical wizardry thing you know the sll stuff and then this it's this woman is sort of um how do, how do i put it she looks into um uh the background uh ass or where it's well, historical research. yeah yeah and then there's yeah. i gordo oh. um and then there's this other guy, and, and I'm not kidding you, he's full of tattoos, his neck's covered, his hands are covered, but he's like an ordained priest and he does cleansings and exorcisms and is it like a, a black medium? And if you look at him and you look at Eric Cora, they're as different as chalk and cheese. You could tell, yeah. like, Derek Cora is fake as whatever you know what i mean <coughs> but you know um you know this yeah, all different you fake it till you make it it kept on um, faking it after he made it i was gonna say <laughs> <coughs> but but yeah you know what i mean and he's this this guy you know it it, it sort of the one that i was watching last night it were there were a woman used to live there and she were renowned for what they call awakening the dead. So apparently, according to how it went last night, she'd opened this portal and, you know, and then she like saying sorry from the spirit world because she'd opened this portal and there were all sorts going off. Sounds like evil dead or something. <laughs> Yeah. But the funny thing is, partners, she were having a problem with a tele keep turning on and off. Now we've had that upstairs. Mm. You know what I mean? And um, th this were actually while they were filming and there were nobody in the room, she got like these three canvases all in, all in a row, like three separate canvases. And actually while they were filming... Um, and they weren't in the room. This canvas sort of like tilted to one side, and then they actually walked into the room. And before you know it, this one on the other end tilted to one side. It's creepy stuff, and yeah. you know, it, it, there were nobody near them at the time, but you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, there's an element of you know, and they always put like this disclaimer this, this it's for entertainment purposes only. But someone it's got to be real, hasn't it? So but it's it's 
Why You've sort of got to... such experiences. You've got to watch it with an open mind. That's sort of all my always my mantra. You know, you've got to watch it with an open mind. And some of the things like, you know, um, Chris, you know, keep having tapping on his shoulder or on his leg, and you know, there's been nobody there. Sign turning down on his telly. Or, you know what I mean? It's sort of things that you can't explain away. You know what I mean? Let me have a closer look at Joelle. She likes my t shirt. It's like a oh, must be like a turquoise. I'm gonna uh, turn off the lamp. See it'll show probably show oh, yeah. a bit better. Because yeah. only light is, is. You know, like from the monitor. So that's yeah. that's I think that's more that's closer to oh, cut off. Yeah, closer to colour bit. As soon as I stand up it gets it's Yeah, goes, it's, it's weird. It's goes light, weird. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of, you disappear like a ghost. It's our subject. Green screen. If I go back into reality, there. See if it. No, it's still ah, it. Yeah, that's better. No, no but if I'm, if I'm sitting there, that's that's the true colour. It's nearly as nice as mine. Uh, next I've got one with slitty sleeve. Look. <laughs> now, just get. But um, yeah, you, it all depends what I mean. It, it, what one person likes, not necessarily another person. Look at Scotty showing off. What what's on your Scotty? Oh man! <laughs> oh, it's got holes in it. I <laughs> know, <laughs> but intentional I was. Look, you can um, say it's intentional, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did that on a mower being realistic. Did you take it to church yesterday then? <laughs> I was still drinking yesterday. Only. <laughs> I was still um, drinking yesterday. I didn't leave the house <laughs> at all. Lion, it left us for weeks. <laughs> the only times I've been out is to get food. <laughs> Between. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end it, guys, because, yeah. Um, <coughs> so, um, I, I, did you get it to like, Tracy? No, no, love, no. I, I'm doing another one. I know you say you're going to end it, but I'll take some pictures and send you when they're ready. Okay, then. Okay, right, then. okay. Yeah. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget it to be I'm John's last one. Yeah. So, I want you, or, or I'd, I'd, I'd prefer you to be here to say au revoir to, uh, I'm yeah. Jad. Yeah. So I'll see you all on the next one, yeah. guys. Okay, Night, everybody. Bye. 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 That's that, uh, um, partners. Chris is. Uh, done me fading and fade out for that one.